Hello, coaches. Welcome back to another episode of Coach Better Spotlight. In this conversation, we're talking about coaching as an intellectual spa with Nikki Dinsdale, University Advisor at UWC Southeast Asia. Nikki shares her experience with coaching at United World College and the opportunity coaching provides to stop and deeply reflect on our own professional habits that have been built over time. If you're not sure if coaching is for you, this conversation with Nikki will likely convince you that it's time for your own intellectual spa experience. If you enjoy any part of this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more conversations like this, please subscribe to our channel and click the notifications bell to find out every time we release a new episode. Remember, you can also listen to the full Coach Better episode wherever you get your podcasts. We are passionate about the impact coaching can have on student learning, school culture, and teacher professional growth, and we want to help you coach better. We've got some great opportunities for more learning after today's conversation, so stick around all the way to the end. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Coach Better. Today, I'm here chatting with Nikki Dinsdale, University Advisor at UWC Southeast Asia in Singapore. Nikki, can you introduce yourself and a little bit of your counseling slash teaching background so our listeners know a little bit more about you? Yeah, I'm really happy to. Um, so, hello, and thank you. Um, it's really happy to be here. Um, my name is Nikki Dinsdale. I'm one of the university advisors at the UWC SEA um, in Singapore. There's two campuses. I'm on the East Campus. The name of the school is grand enough. Um, I'm a university advisor, sometimes called college counsellor. Um, I work with students primarily, I guess, grade nine through to 12, um, uh, about the process of thinking beyond school and life beyond school, um, careers, I guess, but primarily universities. I'm part of a team, there's five of us here, and we um, all, all share that process, and we've got um, some responsibilities within that, but that's primarily kind of what I do. So you've already, I think, described a lot of this stuff, um, but I'm gonna ask you maybe if you, you can summarize or kind of bring it together, what makes a coach invaluable to you? I think that professionally a coach is invaluable to me because it forces me to crystallize my thinking, to really, um, and it's almost like a self-indulgence, isn't it? Where you think, all right, I am going to just spend a little, it's it's like me time, isn't it? It's like an intellectual spa. So you get to have a little... Um, stop and think about okay you know why why am I doing this why it's all those good questions um, reflective questions so you're not doing things unintentionally on automatic pilot just because you've always done it so uh, professionally I think that's fantastic especially when you've been doing something a long time and it's easy to fall into habits so I think that's why it's so intellectually really interesting because I force myself to think about process but also you know professionally it's really interesting and so I think it's invaluable it's invaluable for that and then sort of bigger picture than in terms of sort of philosophically thinking about how I approach life and relationships um, by giving myself the time to think about those things um, yeah it's 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 just really healthy I think um, and then if I'm working with young people if I can see the benefits of that then you know, I don't know by osmosis but I you know then hopefully I can encourage that type of um, self-worth I guess you know you're worth stopping and thinking about things you're worth it um, and so my conversations can be very much about that um, as part of one of our book clubs here which was actually through Tricia I read the book moments I can't remember who it's by now but in that, I mean, the whole book is around the premise of stopping and just creating a moment. 
like a celebration or an acknowledgement of something and why that is so important to our psyche and our well-being or um, to helping people um, move forward positively and so maybe it's a little bit like that coaching it can be that moment where you stop and you acknowledge okay this is important your thoughts and your feelings are important um, and it's going to have really concrete um, profound effects on how you think professionally and personally I think that's why it's so useful man I love that an intellectual spa I'm gonna <laughs> use that all over the place that is not, that's exactly what it is and when you go for a spa indulgence when you're talking about like a massage or whatever you always think to yourself I'm worth it and so that like you're combining those elements and the self-worth that you're worth stopping and thinking about these things to make yourself a better person or to have better relationships, but also that it's the intellectual part of you that's worth it. And I just, that nailed it. It's all I can say about that. That's awesome. We can do t-shirts. Come on. Badges. Seriously. Exactly. I love it. If you've enjoyed any part of this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more great conversations about coaching with inspiring educators from around the world, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notifications bell to find out every time we release a new episode. To hear the full-length conversation, subscribe to the Coach Better Podcast wherever you get your podcasts. And if you're looking for even more resources to help you coach better, head over to adurolearning.com slash coach better to explore over 20 online courses designed by coaches for coaches. Catch us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Aduro Learning to connect with us. See you next week on Coach Better Spotlight.